Now, the second thing you need to know about uh, starting a tank. So you already add the bacteria, tank is cycling, you want to start testing the water to make sure where the cycle is going. Uh, at the beginning ammonia nitrite, ammonia will be high, nitrate will be high, but you gotta test it, I'll say at least once a week. Once ammonia and nitrite are zero, you're good to go. What I recommend, you can use a test strip, which are very easy to, to see. Personally, you get a lot more uh, value for your money if you use something like uh, an API test kit. And you can use it for salt water and fresh water. This is a high range test kit. If you're into precision, low range, all this and that, there's other test kits that you can use. You can use something like the Red Sea, you can use something like Salifer, but personally, you get a lot of more bang for the buck if you use something like the API plus it is super easy so let me show you how to test for four parameters so let me show you to test for four parameters pH ammonia nitrite and nitrate super easy let me get the water sample okay water sample there's a little book that comes in those test kits uh, if you buy you can buy the test kits also individually it comes in uh, color charts like this and then there's the directions in the back uh, the other one has a bigger color chart like this and then there's a little book also explaining the um, the different parameters how to fix certain problems but uh, this is let's say a salt water tank this is actually one of my one of the tanks so pH it's a water parameter ammonia another water parameter nitrite nitrate they take about five milliliters each so there's a line that you want to fill it up all the way to the line now key important in very important with uh, with API test kits is shaking. You gotta shake these bottles really well. So for a salt water, in this case, I'm going to use, te use the high range test kit, high range pH. And it means that I'm testing values of pH seven, from seven and up. Fresh water, we usually test from seven down. Uh, if you have cichlids, seven up, because the goal that you're trying to reach it's 8.0 for cichlids but for the other ones 7 or 6 or 6.5 so you shake it really well and then you gotta follow the times that are recommended what I do I always start with the one that takes the longest I start with the nitrate but if you want to kind of keep that mental exercise so you don't confuse which one is converted into what you know start with ammonia nitrite and then nitrate so as it says here 10 drops so very easy this is bottle two and bottle one there's two bottles for nitrate actually let me not get you guys confused so let's start with the ph five drops These are some other tests that uh, we we did yesterday. I just didn't have the time to clean them. So one, two, three, four, five, five drops for the pH. Shake it like this, up and down, and the pH color-wise is about 8.0. And then we go for ammonia. This tank is fully cycled, so I'm not going to see any ammonia or nitrite, but at least you guys learn how to test it very important so ammonia bottle one eight drops one two three four five six seven eight Ooh, it's raining so eight drops second one shake actually mix it a little bit 
second one, bottle two, eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to also get a timer. So you time everything properly. Usually the waiting time is between three minutes or five minutes. Each test has a different time. So just follow the directions on the thing. Five minutes for ammonia. So you shake it. Very well, it's reacting. Next one, we go to nitrite. The waiting time is also five minutes. So one, two, three, four, five. I will test at least once a week to make sure everything is okay because uh, nobody likes the test that's a fact but uh, I do I kind of like it to test my own systems you know I don't like to be all day just testing water shaking in the nitrates say bottle one ten drops one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know this is a very boring episode. Follow all the directions in the little book. All the directions in the bottle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one you want to shake it for almost a minute. And then you let it rest for five minutes and then you compare the color. What a lot of people miss uh, don't do well is a shake the nitrate is usually uh, where a lot of people fail you gotta shake this one very very well then you gotta do this not like and done no mix it like this and then the color will start actually uh, reacting at this time after like 30 seconds of mixing this like this you will start seeing the tendency of what's going to be the the end result See, this one, it's bad. That's from a customer from yesterday. And then his phosphates was like, actually this, this, well, god damn, this was so bad. And he was wondering why his, nit why his corals were not doing very well. You know, you gotta test the water. See, this one is already showing up a little coloration. So I'm gonna wait for five minutes and then I'll come back and show you the results and how we read the results. All right, five minutes are done. I notice here on this system, the nitrates, they are just starting to creep up a little bit. So this is my nitrate color test right here. This one, you get it. And this is how you read it, like this. You press it against it and then you kind of see the nitrates on this system here are 20. I don't know, sometimes the colors on the camera might be a little bit weird or depending on the light, but from what I see with my eyes, it's uh, 20. So I'm going to do a 50% water change in this system. So it's going to dilute my nitrates to half. So you go to 10. And then I will need to do another water change. In say a few days, another 50% water change. So in this case, that tank is 300, 150 gallons now, 150 gallons in a few days. So that will do it. So ammonia, ammonia zero. Actually, there's a little bit of ammonia. Yeah. There's a 0 0.25 ammonia, so there's a little bit. There's no nitrites. And pH is about 8.0. And let me check the salinity. The salinity I like to use, uh, you can use, uh, that's another subject maybe. But I like to use this uh, digital refractometer. So it's 1.027. That's because I use natural seawater in the seawater right now. It's a bit salty, but at least 2.5, 2.7 is pretty good. 2.9, kind of too much. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.